Today on Things I Love, we're going to be re... <clears throat> Today on Things I Love, we're going to be reviewing this new Lego 3-in-1 set. You can make a flower shop, you can make a bakery, and you can make... A toy shop. A toy shop. Today on Things I Love. Welcome back to Things I Love. Today we're going to be talking about this 3-in-1 set. Back early on in our show, we did a show called The Origins of Lego and just kind of got into how my wife and I got started with Lego. And early on in our, in our marriage, I started buying Lisa these 3-in-1 sets and so we've made a nice New York City uh, street scene. And that's one of the things that we love about it, and we'll get into that in a second, is how you can combine them to make a street scene. So today we're going to talk about this set number 31105. It is the Lego Creator 554 Pieces Townhouse Toy Store. And we love these Creator 3-in-1 sets. Uh, not only do they make several different sets, um, but they also combine really nicely. Yeah. And so you want to get into it with us here? Yeah, so I have liked the 3-in-1 sets for a long time. Um, I find, I, I like puzzles a lot, so um, I really got into Lego with the instructions. It gave me, it was kind of like a puzzle with instructions. And um, That's it's, a great way to put it, because uh, I, I don't really love puzzles, um, but I do see this as kind of my puzzle, so that's cool. It's just really neat to see how all the little pieces fit together. So I really wanted to have a new piece to go with our scene, um, and I'm always waiting to see when they come out with another three-in-one. Um, and these have, this one is pretty cool. I like um, that it has the townhouse on top and the toy store on bottom. It reminded me of um, the Upper West Side of Manhattan. Right. Um, we actually looked at an apartment that was above a toy store. We did. Um, thankfully, we didn't get that one. But um, anyway, and, and it's just, a really cool toy store. And just to point out that we are we built the, or I shouldn't say we, you and Emily built, built this, this set. One. I built another set the same time they were building this one. And we're going to show you that here in a second as a little bonus set. But they built the largest one. We did. Uh, which didn't end up having very many leftover pieces at all. Uh, but then there's also um, the single story flower shop and the single story bakery. Right. It comes with two minifigs, um, and their their bodies are interchangeable. So it comes with a child. Um, hey, let's and, let's do this. I I, I built this kind of little janky stand here, <laughs> but I wanted to show be able to show you uh, the different so minifigs. It comes, it comes with a child. Um, he does have a reversible head in case he wants to be upset. <laughs> so he's got multiple personalities. So let's show that here. Let's let's take the hair take off. Take his hair off. And then there you go. So he's not quite sure. Very confused. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's not quite sure. We all know children are like that. They can switch <laughs> at a moment's notice. That's right. And then the other person is an adult female. I gotta get his. I gotta get his hair on I'll there. Put his hair get back it? on. Okay. Yeah. The other one is, yeah, this adult female, which, little hint, I think that this should go with the set that I built, um, and we'll get into that in a second, but... But she's advertising for smart. Lego. She does work in the toy store, apparently. Um, I'm thinking that's what they were going for. But you can switch the outfits depending on the, um, the scene that you make, but because this is a toy store, I'm assuming that's why that she... Is wearing the Lego. Different head? Shirt. Nope. Different. No, nope, same head. Same. Adults are more even keel, I guess. <laughs> so, some really cool things about this set. Um, like Mark was saying, Emily and I made it. I would sort the pieces out and give them to her mostly. Um, I find that that's kind of fun to watch <laughs> her do it, get her involved in doing something as a family. Um, Having teenagers that still like doing this with you is, is good. It's yeah, a we good have a thing really to do time. as a family. We, uh, we don't film every set that we build because we do want to just kind of enjoy it as a family sometime. And we, we did it out, outside on the porch, on the porch yeah. and just had a great day doing this. So there's some really cool things about it that I like. We liked um, the... I love the way that LEGO is really creative when it comes to what they put over the doors. Um, 
The sandwich shop has a giant sandwich. Mm. This has a little train, which is really cool. I also love the windows at the top. They remind me of some Art Deco buildings that we used to pass in the Upper West Side. Um, these are unusual pieces here at the top. Um, I'd never used that piece before. Um, they're more of a taller version of, you know, a corner roof piece. Yeah, I love roof pieces. They're, they're very good for building mountainscapes too, uh, if you're doing a mountain mock. So I also <laughs> like, I mean, of course, I, I, Lego does a great job with awnings. Uh, they, almost all the buildings have awnings, but I also there, just, yeah, it's got an awning, awning on, on both sides. Side. Yeah, it's got an awning above the townhouse entrance. And then it got, it's got two awnings, one in front of the picture window, which has the toys in front of it, in, I mean, in the picture window. And then it has one um, on the side. Another cool thing about this, I love the little um, toy soldier there. He's really cool. I like the way that they did the... Um, you got a candy machine over here too. Oh yeah, I was gonna talk about that in a minute. <laughs> so the tile work here, the with the zigzaggy pieces, I'm sure there's some other name besides zigzaggy. <laughs> I love that the door opens on the corner. That's, it's just unique to this set. And the candy, the candy machine, I Lego uses these cloche pieces, and I call them cloches because that's what they look like. They use them for so many things. They can use them for lights, they can use them for, I guess, to cover a cupcake. I think that may be what they use it for in, in the other set. But those are supposed to be little gumballs and then you just attach it to the to the stand and then put it. It's one of the things I love back. about Lego is just that all these different pieces can make so many different things. Just gotta use your imagination. And inside the set, turn it around. Inside the set, um, on the bottom, I love the cash register. It's an old tiny cash <laughs> register with the pull handle. Um, I like that there's a there's a um, airplane airplane and a little and train in there. It, what I was just talking about about using different pieces that that rotor on the front. It's an ice skate. It's an ice skate. <laughs> yeah, and that's yeah, been used for several. Yeah, we things. used it on our winter set for the ice skates, yeah. which was really cool. And then um, what's the toys that they sell in this toy store, of course, are Lego, so they're on the wall. And it it attached to the wall to make a display, which was really neat. We enjoyed doing that. It's a really, really great set. And then you got the bird on the top. Of course you got the bird. And I love um, the very creative um, bedspread on the bed. And it, it just it's just a really fun yeah. set. I love the colors. It was Pretty easy to put together. It took us about two hours. Yeah, a couple hours, but we were like relaxing, and you know, it prob probably you could put it together in an hour and a half. Yeah, because we would off. take breaks and talk, mm -hmm. and so I just think it's a really fun thing to do with your family. This set is for eight and up, mm -hmm. um, and I, I mean, it really wasn't. It was not hard to do. It just, um, it was just fun. So let's talk about the most fun part. Oh, of this whole thing. yeah. <laughs> so the little boy. Um, is riding in a, uh, I guess, a coin-operated rocket ship. And what's really neat about this is that it has a little, what you would use as a tire on a Lego vehicle, is in here attached to um, a piece that turns, and you can actually make him go up it's and down. It's a very simple gear. It is. I think you might be able to see it on the bottom if you look in there. Very simple um, way to do it, and it makes it go up and down and back and forth, and so very really. It's cool. a really neat thing, and it's not. <clears throat> I mean, if you have children, to put the Lego character in and out is not difficult. Uh -huh. um, he's standing. Yeah, he's standing. Um, so you don't have to worry about uh, that. Wouldn't be a frustration for children. Um, I love that it has the little coin slot. Yeah. It, it brings back memories, and this is something I was talking to my older daughter about when we used to be able to go to the grocery store and for a penny she could ride the mechanical horse. A penny, for a long time too. Yeah, <laughs> would go for a while. so I used to give her five pennies and she could You can put her in that and go to your grocery shop and it No! <laughs> no, this just is kidding. why Don't I took her to the grocery Don't do that. store. So, um, it just, it's one of those things that's nostalgic. Yeah. Um, Nowadays, you don't see very many of these anymore. Um, so I just thought it was a really cool thing. It's so. a really great set. And so 
uh, I got this a while back. I got it early on in uh, the stay at home order and quarantine and, and knew that you'd want to put that together, but it took us a few months before we actually did it. Yeah. Um, and so I had gone to the Lego store like right before everything shut down at our, at Opry Mills Mall. And it just reopened. So we went a couple weeks ago, right when it reopened. And I got another set that I want to share with you. Uh, and it goes really well with this set. And it is the Lego store. And so you can see why she needs to be a part of this, <laughs> of this store because it did not come with an employee. And so uh, we'll put her back here for right now. But I just wanted to show you this. I, I love, love, love this set. It was, it was a, I don't know if it's a Lego store exclusive, but I've only seen it at the Lego store. <laughs> and one of the it things I just- It came with a shopper though, right? It came with a couple shoppers, uh, a, a, a kid and, um, and his dad. Uh, but one of the things that I love, or one of the things that I thought was very interesting about the Lego store when we went back is how they, how they opened up and how they did everything. And so if you've been back to a Lego store, I'm assuming they're all like this, but we entered into the store um, they were only letting a few people in at a time, so we had to wait, and then they let us in. And then the, the, the whole middle section of the Lego store um, was empty, completely empty, and it was yellow tiles. And so we had to go stand in the yellow tiles and then look at all the stuff on the wall, different sets, and then tell them which set we were interested in, and they would bring it to us and, and let us look at it. We couldn't touch it uh, until we decided to buy it, and then they put it at the cash register and we would go buy it. It was a very interesting museum kind of way to, to shop. Uh, thankfully, we knew exactly what we wanted to get. We got the Friends set. Uh, mm -hmm. we're, we're looking forward to putting that Friends set together in, in the future and showing you that. But I, I saw this set and really wanted to get it. It was $24.99. I thought that's a great uh, price. And sometimes I don't feel that way. Sometimes I think they're a little overpriced. But this one was great. And so got this and really it goes it's really, really well, well kind of right next to the toy store. And so that's what we've got set up in our New York City scene. Um, but you got, you know, your typical uh, entrance here with the Lego sign there and you get the flags up top and um, you got an ATM on the I side. I love that. Very cool. And then this one's got kind of a more modern cash register on the inside and um, got your pick a brick wall like over here. That's fun. Yeah. Which, pick a brick, it was not you available can. at all. It was all covered with brown paper. And I even asked him, I said, if I tell you the exact pieces that I want, because I do want a lot of these roof pieces to be able to work on some more mocks of, of mountains, um, could you go in the back and get those? And she said, no, she couldn't do it. So I let it go. I let it go. We'll, we'll get them later. Um, but I, it's got this tiny little mini fig. Oh I don't even know. Let's see if I can put it on here. There we go. <laughs> mini fig. That's smaller than the, the baby mini figs that they have. Um, but love that. And Is there let's more see. than one of those? There's a train in the back and various toys. There's two together. of those guys in here. Yeah, aren't there? He, the little boy's holding one. Um, so let's see. Let's see if I can get him out of here. That guy kind of looks like you. Which guy? This guy? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's beard. look at the dad first. Yeah, I got the beard. I got That's my quarantine beard shirt. though. My beard has been growing for yeah. several months. His shirt's interesting. He's got a, <laughs> he's got a goatee there. Yeah, he's, he's wearing his relaxing shirt. And then let's see if he's got a separate. Nope. A lot of these original um, yellow minifigs don't have the double faces. The jaundiced mini face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then we've got the little boy here who's got, is carrying the little mini fig, um, which scale wise, that mini fig is huge compared to this. <laughs> but they do sell them that size. They, do they? Do they? They, they sell. I saw one today. So it's, I was looking online and they sell, like, it's like a case. Yeah, or I've something. seen like a it's, clock or something that's like yeah, that. Yeah, it's not really a mini fig. It's a. But this is cool with his hat. The maxi fig. Um, you can kind of. There he is, cool kid. <laughs> and he doesn't have a reverse expression either. Yeah. Because he's at the Lego store. And we're only happy it's at awesome. the Lego I would have been super happy if the Lego and the Disney store had been open. 
but the Disney store was still not. So we're hoping for that soon. Um, you got this, I believe it's like, it's like a train in the, in the window mm -hmm. there. Um, what is this little box here? It's just a little box there. Oh, I guess you could put the toy in <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, so we got this little box there. Yeah. And they uh, had this, this was odd. Like they had this, um, you know, Lego castle. I remember these from the Lego castle when I was a kid, the little shield. But that's huge. Um, but they had it in, in here, in the little box there. And so I took it off and just kind of clipped it on. And there you go. So. What's that? Looks like a faucet. Yeah, I think it's a. Oh, it's a duck. Oh, it's a yeah, duck. Yeah, so a Lego, a Lego duck. That's in interesting there. because it. Uh, or it maybe looks it, kind of like a trice. Uh, I'm like gonna a go with bicycle? duck. But <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I don't is. know. But even in, in here, you've got a little little like a semi truck. There. No, that's cute. Now at the bottom. It, it looks like they've made one of those city scenes, like what they put in the windows of some of the bigger stores. Yeah. I just accidentally knocked this off. I'll go ahead and show you that this door comes off really easily. Um, it just kind of sets, sets in there. There you have it. So anyway, this was a, a great set. And at the top piece. of it, got this kind of Duplo. huge Duplo piece <laughs> that's made, um, made from... The little circles. Little pegged squares. And these circled. Just go on top of that stud. So there you have it. Oh, and uh, tell them about, you do have to put stickers on with you this You do, kit. a few stickers, yeah. So these Lego sets that are up against the wall in the back, those are stickers that are on there. They're, you know, I don't mind stickers as much. Some people don't like them at all, but I don't mind them. But if you're really particular, you can always use tweezers. If you want you to can. I've thought about that a few times. But great set. And these go really well together, like I said. Put those together. Put this guy right up here. Put the Lego employee. I, I stole this from Lisa's set. I was like, it just, it, it goes That's with... That's okay. It goes with the store. You could just put your man over in my store so it's not unattended. <laughs> There's a little, little Lego minifig there. Yeah, so there you have it. Another great three-in-one set. And then this was a nice find at the Lego store. Uh, I did a little bit of research, and there's an older model of this as well that you can get. Um, since it is older, it costs a little bit more. I'm trying to find that on eBay and various places. Um, but yeah, we had a good time with this set. Uh, we were just talking about another set that you wanted to get. It's a townhouse. Um, pet shop, a pet I shop. think. Or a coffee shop or something. It was... Another one of those three-in-one city scenes, that, yeah. but we're going to have to make some more room because we are out of room. <laughs> well, that's, that brings up a good point, is we are waiting for um, a shipment to come here from Ikea. We've got a whole countertop um, and some drawers and, and storage and stuff that we're going to be making the back side of the studio, which you can't see right now, into a wall-to-wall -wall desk where Lisa can do her, her cricket um, crafts that she does and I can do Lego we can do Lego together I and great papers and so yeah so we'll be filming you know as we put together that we'll show you that a little bit and then as we get it together we can actually do some some filming at the desk and and just have a good time with that so we're looking forward to the future with that uh, I think that's about it for today you got anything else no I just encourage you as families to find something that you enjoy together and to spend time doing it that's right well, if you are new to this channel, we're about Disney, Star Wars, and Lego. That's the trifecta here, and Lego kind of fits all of those in there because Star Wars is now owned by Disney, and they've got a Disney line and all kinds of stuff. So uh, those are the things that we love here. And so if you are new, we would love to have you be a part of this family. Hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell to be notified of these weekly positive, and we're going to keep it positive with these videos. And then give us a big thumbs up up if you like this video. Well, this is Mark Eddington and Lisa Eddington. Just a bit about us to help you be, be more you. you. All right. Should we take it apart and then put it back together? No. <laughs> no. Well, this is three in one, so we, we can make two of them. Oh, I can buy more sets and make more sets. But no. I'm